Hello Kules and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories starting with Frankie de Jong as English sources continue to maintain this rumor saying that Liverpool are showing interest in the 25 year old Barca midfielder. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly talking about this report claiming that Barcelona still have 57 million euros remaining to spend on summer signings we are also going to be discussing on that so guys as we get right into it if you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure to hit the subscribe button turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever i post a new video give the video a like and please make sure to watch it right up to the very end just a few more days left before the summer transfer window of 2022 comes to a close and Liverpool are plotting a late rate on Barcelona for the signing of midfielder Frankie de Jong according to the Mirror. Frankie de Jong's future has been a much talked about subject throughout the summer with links to Manchester United and then Chelsea doing the rounds regularly. In fact, Barca even had an 85 million euro agreement with Manchester United to sell the Dutchman only for him to refuse to move and stay put. Having decided to stay, the midfielder is now reportedly open to taking a pay cut and has given a green light for talks. Despite this development, the young might still end up moving away, with Liverpool now throwing their hat in the ring for the Netherlands international. Jurgen Klopp's Reds have made a poor start to the season and have been hampered by injuries, especially in the midfield department. It has made the German um, reconsider his stance about not strengthening his options in the center of the park. He said, I know we have had this discussion since it all started and I am the one who said we don't need a midfielder and you were all right and I was wrong. We are looking for it right now and if it is the right player, we need him and if it is not the right player, we don't need him, Klopp admitted. And the young is a name reportedly under consideration at Anfield, with reports even claiming that an offer was being um, rated for the Netherlands international. However, the big question would be whether the young is willing to consider a move to Liverpool this summer. The midfielder has been very clear on his stance and he does not wish to leave Barcelona, especially for Manchester United. However, a move to Liverpool would allow him to continue playing in the UEFA Champions League and challenge for titles and trophies, it certainly sets up for an intriguing final few days in this summer transfer window. With the transfer window soon coming to a close, it seems as though many crazy things are going to happen, right? Um, Liverpool are now into the race for Frankie, according to English sources. So it's going to be interesting to see how this ends out. Midfielders are being needed at Liverpool at the moment. After starting poorly in the Premier League, they also have issues in midfield. And you can come up, have admitted that he, he he doesn't mind bringing a top class midfielder. So Frankie De Jong have been linked with them. So let's see. We just have barely four days to go for the transfer window to come to its final end. So Frankie De Jong, for the most part of this season, have been linked to Manchester United as well as Chelsea. But to no avail, Barca have been trying so hard to push this guy away because Barca have other things that it will really help them if Frankie De Jong departed like maybe bringing in Bernardo Silva, registering some new players, buy a new left back and a right back and things like that. But when we look at how Frankie de Jong have really been, have maintained his stance, there's no way Barca could achieve that. And the player has every right to say he does not want to leave. He has a contract, we quite remember that. And um, what's of it all, Barca even still owing him the Fed salary of up to 18 million. So Barca still want him to further decrease or take a pay cut if he really wants to stay something that have not sit well with frankie and his agents so there is a lot of disagreement between the player and the club and of course we know talking about united and a total agreement with barca had already been reached ever since worth 85 million euros but the players to refuse and we all know that the fact that united are not playing champions league football and everything like that and Frankie de Jong being a player with high aspirations, you know, yes, last season Barca played Europa League after coming out from the group stages of the Champions League and it, it was not even, not even possible to imagine Frankie still going for a club that plays Europa League. So um, he had rejected United for a long time. Chelsea also entered the picture thinking that he might be tempted to join them, 
but um, unfortunately for Chelsea, he did not join them. So, um, for the longest time, ever since some few weeks back, it has looked as though Frankie de Jong would stay put at Barcelona because nothing had been said. Then just after that, a few days ago, we heard the report of Liverpool entering the picture. They want to sign in and of course, this could be more tempting than Chelsea. We know that, right? Liverpool is a club, not just they play Champions League, but they also compete for trophies, they compete for, for Premier League. And of course, that could be tempting for Frankie de Jong, right? Because Liverpool is also a top, top club. So, interesting few days ahead of us in this transfer window. But I really wish, as a Barca fan, that Frankie de Jong goes nowhere. We all know Bernardo Silva will not come. The CEO and even Pep Guardiola himself have confirmed that Bernardo will not come to Barca this season. Despite that the player loves Barca a lot. But the fact that the transfer window, time, in fact, things are already too late. So if Barca want to dream about Bernardo, it should be in maybe next summer also. So and that's why Barca should not even dare make a mistake of selling um, Frankie de Jong because um, Bernardo Silva will not come. So if Frankie de Jong leave, I think it will not be a good idea. But let's see what happens in the coming days. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, with only a few more days left before the transfer window comes to an end, Barcelona are still not done with their business for the summer. The Catalan heavyweights are currently focusing on getting players off the books as they hope to sell three more players in the coming days. At the same time though, there are likely to be a few incomings before uh, the window slams shut. Barca are hoping to find new two fullbacks, one, of the, one on the right and one on the left side. Why a new striker could also be on the agenda if both Memphis and Aubameyang leave. Bernardo Silva also remains on the club's wish list. And now Marca is reporting that Barcelona have around 57 million left in their budget to spend on new signings. At the start of the window, Barca were allotted a budget of 200 million euros to spend on transfers. Out of that allotted amount, Barcelona splashed 48 million on Rafinha and 50 million each on Robert Lewandowski and Jules Kounde, taking the total to 148 million euros. The Blaugrana would thus have 52 million in their transfer budget. On top of that, Barca have received 5 million for the transfer of Ferran Jutla leaving 57 in the kitty for the club. Why they receive around 20 million for the exit of Philippe Coutinho, it was accounted for in the previous financial year's budget, which means that they have 57 million left in total to spend on incomings before the window slams to a shot. Barcelona are looking for a new right back with Juan Foy, Thomas Mounier and Hector Bellerin, their preferred targets. On the left side, Barca have their sights on Marcos Alonso and Javi Galan as options to sign. As iterated earlier, a low-cost striker could arrive if both Memphis Depay and Obama Young leave the club. So it remains to be seen how many, if any, players Barca decide to sign. But it could be a busy end of the window at the Camp Nou. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.